Hey, Tiger fans. Mark Fitzpatrick with Tiger Club Kansas City. It's Tuesday, March 14th. We're at the Westport Flea Market today, and our guest, old friend Dennis Dodd, who knows more about college sports than just about everybody around and his work for CBS Sports. Dennis, thanks for joining us today. It was great. Uh, just glad to do it. Glad to engage with everybody again. So, Dennis, uh, big stories you've been covering. Continue conference realignment. Still a lot of dust to settle in that. Do you see the, any more changes in the SEC right now? I don't think in near term the SEC. Now, I've been told that the presidents are fine with the 16. Obviously, I think what we're seeing in general is trying to get as many brands as possible for any conference under one tent. And arguably, the SEC has most of those now. I mean, the Big Ten would make a case right. now that they have USC and UCLA. But I think that's one of the reasons you're seeing so much, so many problems with the SEC scheduling going forward because there are so many good teams. You know, Nick Saban is uh, speaking out. He doesn't want to play certain teams because he knows his, comp his schedule is tough enough. Um, I think Missouri plays what is going to play Vanderbilt, Florida, and who am I missing? I think there was a third one there. Um, but that going forward in the SEC is going to be a big, big story. But they're going to stay at 16 for a while, I think. You see something breaking with the Big 12 soon. I think the first breaking news will be at the Pac-12. Uh, they need to announce, if they can, a new TV deal. And then what will the upshot be with that? Will there be enough there for those 10 schools to stay in the Pac-12? Um, will the Pac-12 expand? Uh, you know, that has to happen. So while the Big 12 continues to pursue those four schools in the Pac-12, I think that has to happen first. That's what the industry is waiting for, to see what that number is. Some fascinating stuff. <laughs> uh, we're going to see a big expansion in the college football playoff coming up. Your thoughts about that, what it means to some of the, maybe the mid-majors or yeah. the lower conferences? What, I, what think think? I think it's going to be fascinating, and it will start in the 2024 season. We go from 4 to 12 in the playoff. And I tend to believe my old friend Bob Bowlesby, who, who helped shape this, the old Big 12 commissioner, who was one of the four people who came up with this idea. And he told me when it was originally announced, we think that on November 1st of any given season, there will be 30 to 35 teams in contention for those 12 spots. Now, I, judging from last season, I don't think it'll be 30. I think it might be 20. But even that, to hold the attention of the American public and have all those games mean even more in November when all those rivalry games are played is going to mean a lot. I don't think it's going to dilute the game. I think there'll be even more interest, more fans, more people following. I think it'll, get, again, give other teams chances. Think about the, the Sun Belt, which is probably the lowest ranked of the 10 FBS conferences. Those coaches can now legitimately look at their players and their recruits and say, gentlemen, you can come here and play for a championship. Because if you're good enough, You'll be in that playoff. Yeah. Your um, uh, main emphasis is college football, but you covered a lot of college basketball, too. Give me a press to the job Dennis Gates has done this season. Uh, a national coach of the year candidate, uh, I think named by some outlets a SEC coach of the year. I think uh, Desiree Reed francois did her homework in getting a guy who could flip rosters, and that's what he had done at Cleveland State. He did it almost completely at Missouri, not unlike what Jerome Tang did at Kansas State, but I think Missouri is a better story because they've been down for so long. Um, you know, no NCAA wins since 2010, not even been in the tournament since 18. Um, and I, I think he lends an air of, uh, of stability and a guy that I don't think being in the SEC is likely to go anywhere anytime soon. Uh, uh, NCAA tournament coming up this week. Um, who's your picks? I, my final four were Marquette, Arizona, Kansas, and Texas, and I had Arizona winning it all, so I'm kind of an outlier. Although, I was just told Jay Billis picked Arizona, too, so I feel somewhat smarter right well, now. Well, you know, the Tigers are going to upset Arizona, though, Sweet 16. There you go. Around, so. There you go. All right, Dennis, thank you. Great job, as always. Dennis Stott from CBS Sports. Hey, next week we will have Drew King, who covers uh, Mizzou basketball for Power Mizzou. He's a first-time visitor, so come and join us at the Westport Flea Market. Don't forget our golf tournament is coming up in June. Slots are filling up fast. For more information, go to kctigerclub.com.